which is great. I was still getting thousands of people. Yeah. And I thought, this is going to help my app in the future anyway. So I yes. always saw this as a, as a, so, to build it up. Yeah. Build a community. Yeah. Gained 100,000 followers within lockdown. Really? Plus, yeah, which Jeez. was really good. And that was from, in, because I get sick of hearing people, well, I haven't got that many followers. But you got to consider, you're showing up twice a day, workouts yeah, twice a day. For fucking and algorithms at the time with live, three or four live workouts was great because people were seeing it people were getting recommended yeah it was great yeah uh but yeah i i hit a brick wall big time during that lockdown yeah yeah i remember just straight after that second workout just i had no social life my mates were doing like zoom calls having beers on zoom calls I was like, nah, no <laughs> right. uh, welcome to another episode of paul mort talks shit and today I am talking shit with Mr. Bradley Simmons. Bradley, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Thanks uh, mate, for I'm me excited board. about this. My pleasure. Um, so I'm going to get straight down to business. I'm not going to ask that whole, tell the listeners a little bit about yeah, fucking, because yeah, 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 I hate yeah, that yeah, question. Yeah, yeah, shit. No. I've been and in many you, podcasts, mate. Here we go. Do yeah. you say the same thing yeah. all the time? Yeah. yeah. So tell the listeners. <laughs> <laughs> Bradley, what is your, um, what is your, because I love to ask this question with it, with it, this group that I'm in with right now, which okay. is, what's your job title right now? My job title. <laughs> I like to call myself an entrepreneur. Really? I like to call myself an entrepreneur. I was once an Instagrammer. Yeah. Uh, and I, I see myself coming away from that, and now I'm an entrepreneur. Yeah. I've got things going on the pipeline which people don't see on my Instagram. Yeah. Uh, so I'm investing heavily in different bits. Yeah. Um, and I got like what? Like what? Well, property. Let's get some juicy out. Property. Yeah. Crypto, etc. Really? Yeah, of course. Jeez. Have um, you got some? Are you having some coaching on that? You getting any? Yeah, a little bit of coaching. A lot of people I know um, uh, help me, like a financial advisor, etc. Yeah. Which yeah. is good. Oh, sick! I've, I've had to grow up quite quickly. Yeah, I've had to grow up quite quickly. Well, mate, that 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 um, the whole PT game because that's obviously you are yeah. in football, which we talk about, yeah, and then yeah, you, yeah. then you start a PT, and and that's not a big long term career, really, is it? No, Just, it's not. Yeah. I remember what smashing ten clients a day, earning really good money in London. You can charge up to hundred pound an hour. Yeah. Were you in a gym or were you? Uh, this was when I was freelance. I was started off for Virgin Active and then went freelance. And I was yeah. driving around in my little smart car. I was going from <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, I was going from like areas like Chiswick to Knightsbridge to Chelsea. Yeah. Driving then to Cobham to train the Chelsea Wags, and I was charging hundred pound an hour. Any of the day, I've got a thousand pound cash in my little smart car. Yeah. And then I just went, I can't do this for the rest of my life. How am I going to be able to do this? Yeah. I ended up actually having a car accident with my smart because I was so tired. Jeez. Yeah, and I was like, do you know what? This is a little wake-up call. You've done well. I can't do this. Have a crash in a so smart that, car. Yeah, I know. Die, Jesus, I was all right. Um, and then I just said, do you know what? I need to focus on on social side of things yeah. um, and, and build a big, big platform. So where did you start? Instagram? Yeah, Instagram for me. And I haven't really done anything else, which is probably a mistake of mine. Mm. But where I was so successful quickly with Instagram... Uh, and I saw jobs come in. I, I was really enjoying it. I didn't think I need to do anything else. Big yeah. regret of mine. I wish I did YouTube. Yeah. Um, Mate, we had an exact conversation with Alima yesterday. So he was yeah. saying that you are, he reckons you're like the god, the, the fucking granddaddy of Instagram. <laughs> was that like, you were an early adopter on there, right? Yeah, I was really early to be fair. Uh, things didn't work out football wise went on Instagram before okay I don't want to stay at Virgin Active I need to get some celebrity clients so what I did was just message every celebrity I could think of from the likes of Victoria Beckham really to Michelle Keegan uh, only one person got back to me which was a made in Chelsea girl yeah. and that was it that's all you needed wow. at the time alright mate well let's go let's go in here then football yeah What's, what, what happened uh, age of seven to, uh, age of seven to the age of 16 I was at Chelsea Football Club mm -hmm. great Great childhood, loved it. Mm -hmm. Some great memories. Who was in that whole? Who were you playing with then? Uh, so I was playing with like N N N uh, Nathaniel Chaloba, uh, Josh McCreckrin, uh, some really good players. Yeah. Uh, and then I went to Queens Park Rangers, where I was with Raheem Sterling, which was Ooh, class. Geez. Yeah. So what was um, he like? Oh, Phenomenal. He was a joke. Was he? He was just like. It's a raw talent at the time. Yeah. Raw talent at the time. And you could see he had huge potential. Yeah. Um, and then obviously he went to Liverpool. Where were you? Centre mid? Yeah, I was centre mid. So oh, I was centre yeah. back at Chelsea, got told yeah. I was too small. Uh, <laughs> and then they told me I wasn't technical enough to be a centre midfielder at Chelsea, which yeah. was fair enough at the time. Yeah. They just brought in Nathan Aki. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so they, do you know what I mean? So I was yeah. like, oh, okay, okay, look, I'm going to move on. Went to Queen's Park Rangers. I wasn't tall enough. Look, centre midfielder, decent. Yeah. Uh, did my ACL. In the first, what, two weeks being at Queen's Park Rangers. Oh, jeez. Yeah, so How old were you? That must 17? have been 17. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I really struggled with injuries. But, look, I had a great experience as a footballer. So, when you were 17, though, was that, like, the... How did you deal with that? Like, was that... Yeah, really tough. I was just about to get called up for Ireland, Republic of Ireland. Jeez. Um, And they were watching me, and that's the, the, the game I did actually did my issue. Is it? 
Yeah, so it was an absolute Shit. nightmare. Yeah. And um, I was out for 10 months, should have been, been six. Yeah. But I was out going partying and stuff when I shouldn't have been. To try and... Was well, that your coping mechanism? Yeah, it was my coping mechanism. And I've looked back and go, what was I doing? Yeah. Watching the lads train. And some lads who I was better than training with the first team every day. Really? And I'm there on the bike trying to get myself back to fitness. Yeah. So my buzz was, hey, buzz for the weekend now. Let's go to central London with my brother's ID. Get into all the Mayfair nightclubs. Yeah. Pretending I was a baller on my scholarship money. Yeah. Like, yeah, that was my dude. buzz. Yeah. And I look back now and uh, I regret it, to be fair. Yeah. But... You also look back and go, what some great memories. But mate, yeah, you're right. You wouldn't yeah. be doing what you're doing now. No. And you love what you do now, I can tell. Yeah, things happen. Because every for... time you talk about it, you're fucking... Like, yeah, you're, yeah, yeah. Every time, I, all the questions that I see you get asked, and even when you came in today, yeah. you'd start talking to Darren, I started talking to you about it, and you fucking lit up about it. So it's not as though you're now doing something that you hate. No, with. no, no. I love what I do. And I, I believe things happen for a reason. My experiences are now because I'm in a situation where I can help other people yeah. uh, and grow a business which I love doing because some people would let that and I'm sure it's happened at hundreds if not thousands of potential footballers they've had that injury they've had the jacket yeah. and that's defined that's yeah. defined a lot I've, of I, I've played with lads one lad who committed suicide couldn't deal really? with it uh, some lads go down the drug route yeah. um, some lads haven't got, haven't got in them to carry on playing like they they just become like an electrician or they don't enjoy it. And so they don't want to play lower league maybe as well. Well, some players still play lower league. Yeah. And they go, I'm still a baller. And they they pretend that they've still got the Gucci bags and they still yeah. drive the cars, but they can't afford that lifestyle. Champagne lifestyle on a lemonade budget. That's it. Yeah. And they really struggle. Yeah. I've had a few lads, ex footballers that I played with, mm -hmm. asking me for money. Really. Look, I'm really Shit's struggling. Bad, isn't it? And I'm like, well, stop posting pictures of you in your bloody Gucci belt. Yeah. I'm just fucking. It's mad when that's all the know, though, isn't it? It's mad, isn't it? So did you have? Did you have then? You must have had because I was I was doing a bit of research yesterday, um, and like I do like to do a little bit of research, yeah. and I was looking that your family is tight, right? Yeah, very tight. Yeah. So you had that whole support mechanism when? Yeah. Well, my brother James went through it first. So he was a pro at Chelsea. Got really, he was training with the first team under Mourinho. Yeah. Um, really? Doing really well, signed yeah. a good contract. Yeah. Uh, playing for England. Yeah. And uh, then Re Republic under 21s. Was that your brother that I've seen playing against Cesc Fabregas? Yeah. So there's a picture that just popped up recently. Like yeah. he, he was playing for England against Cesc Fabregas alongside Mark Noble. So yeah. he was that good. Yeah. And he should have made it. Um, unfortunately, it didn't, ha it didn't happen for him. He's yeah. now working at Chelsea Football Club under 18 manager, doing really well. So he could potentially be the next Brendan Rodgers. We don't know. Yeah. That's what he wants yeah. to do. Um, so my family kind of learned a lot through James's mistakes and his career yeah. with me. Yeah. Uh, and my mum always said to me, Plan B, Plan B, Plan B. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Making sure we had good education. And yeah. at that time, I was like, Mum, I'm going to be a footballer. Come on. But now I look back and I appreciate, obviously, yeah. having that Plan B. And that's when I did my personal training qualification in a cast because I snapped my ankle. Fucking hell, you were Yeah, and that was the last injury for me. I snapped my ankle yeah. uh, really badly. Uh, did my personal trailer qualification in a car. Still think I'm still going to be a footballer, even if I go to America. Um, and then I started really enjoying personal training and I didn't look back. Mm -hmm. So, so you it. never even bothered? No. Did you bother with any lower league stuff? Any didn't even bother with lower league stuff. Did you not? No. That's mad. You, because I was like, this is decent. I was earning good money. Like, yeah. I was training John Terry at the age of 20. Really? Yeah. Shit. Theo Walcott at the age of 20. Jamie Rendap at the age of 20. Brendan Rodgers at the age of 20. Do you know what's mad about that? Is that a, those guys, mate, I've got a lot of respect for that because I'm like, most guys like that would be like, fucking hell, he's a 20-year-old. Yeah. He's 20 years old. Do you they, know what I mean? Like, they were a bit shocked when I told them I was that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, really? But they just loved my enthusiasm. Yeah. Uh, and where I'd spent last two years being injured, I learned so much from being in the gym. So exercise mm. and stuff was fine. Like, I, yeah. had, I had the knowledge. They yeah. enjoyed it. Yeah. Uh, and, they, and I guess they liked to be around someone who also wasn't a busy bod. And was in the, had been... In had the, been a footballer in the so, pro game. yeah so I'm not asking busy annoying questions yeah I'm not asking questions like who's the best player you've ever played against like or <laughs> I'm about asking no, no, that. Yeah, or, or or like coming in and can you sign this can you sign this can you yeah, sign this yeah like, yeah they need someone that they can know so you can... weren't fanboying no and, of course yeah. I've been I was training with some good footballers at, Q, at QPR like yeah. I wasn't starstruck as much yeah yeah that's a that's a that's a great point man so let's talk about then who is the best footballer you've ever played with? Uh, best player I've ever played with is, I would say, Raheem Sterling, what he's yeah. got to now. Yeah. Um, training wise, Adele Tarapt. When I was oh, you played with him? Well, I trained with him. Jeez, with him. dude. He... Uh, just nuts in people for fun. Dude, just that is one easy. of the most talented yeah. footballers I've ever I seen. I always said he had the ability of Zidane, yeah. but just 
just didn't have it mentally. He could, he could. Well, he's actually playing very highly. He's at Benfica. Benfica. You like your holding midfielder, or something yeah. Now, right. But he had the potential to be Madrid. Like he was a joke. When I saw, pff, some of the stuff he used to do in training was just laughable. Yeah. Did he ever make you? Never no, make me. Oh, no, uh, no way. Uh, didn't get. I didn't didn't get, get close, close enough. Him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, yeah, I'd, I'd, yeah, it, that was class. So let's talk about this then. This um, this because I know so many people that just wouldn't do that thing that you did, where you just messaged. Yeah, I was people. busy. Well, at the time, I was training my ex-girlfriend at the time. She was a good-looking girl. She she was decent. She was a dancer. She mm-hmm. was good with technique and stuff. Yeah. So I used her as the guinea pig. Yeah. And no one... I, Joe Wicks at the time was smashing it, but yeah. he was doing his 15-second midget trees and stuff. Yeah. So I thought, okay, I've got 15 seconds. Let's showcase some trainings. Yeah. For training for people. Oh, I don't mind a bit of that. Yeah. Uh, and I was training my uh, ex-girlfriend at the time, putting on my Instagram. Then that's when I started DMing like the Victoria Beckham or whatnot, yeah. saying, look, do you want to train with me? I can train you for free as, yeah. long, as, as long as you post about me. Yeah. You don't have to pay. Just yeah. give me that exposure. Yeah. That's all I wanted. Yeah. Um, didn't get any... I didn't get... No one messaged me back. How, from, how was that? How did that feel? Well, I, was, I knew it was going to happen. I yeah. thought it was worth a try. Yeah. I still could be a virgin. Well, because the worst thing that's going to happen, and I say this to people all yeah. the time, the worst thing that's going to happen is they're not going to get back to you. Yeah. Like, exactly. You're not going to die. No, that's it. Uh, and then I started training Sophie Herman. Mm-hmm. Um, and then all the other managers goes, oh, I like these videos. Yeah. I, I fancy a bit of that on my Instagram. Yeah. Cool. More than welcome to come down to Chiswick Park. It's only yeah. a mile and a half from Chelsea. Yeah. I started training. I started training. So you were just doing it in the park? No, this was at Virgin Active. Oh, okay. Chiswick and Park, Virgin Active. I was Active. sneaking them in. Yeah, and they, well, Virgin Active weren't happy about it. Yeah. Um, and I actually eventually got kicked out from Virgin Active because I got caught doing backhanders and all that. No way, Bradley I, Simmons got kicked out. Well, I, I, that's when I realised I have to be my own boss. I can't have someone else telling me what to do. Yeah. I couldn't stand yeah. wearing the Virgin Active gear. And yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. I just wanted to be my... I needed to be an individual. And yeah. That's, I can't have a boss. Yeah. For six months of Virgin Active, realised, Joe, well, I can do this solo. Yeah. Uh, I started a business called Your Fit Fitness. Mm-hmm. So I was doing boot camps. So yeah. the back of training, all these men in Chelsea, gaining followers. Yeah. I started doing boot camps in Parsons Green, Elbert Common. We had 60 girls turning up because we want to train with the Made in Chelsea trainer. Jeez. I was charging £10 a pop, 60 yeah. girls doing a boot camp, 600 yeah. quid an hour. Yeah. So the way I thought my thought process was train these girls for free. That's going to give me exposure. It's obviously going to earn me money other ways. Yeah. I had people saying, oh, these mainly Chelsea girls, they're minted. They're, why are you not charging them? It's like, nah, you've got to look at the bigger picture sometimes. Man, I love that. And you know that, that whole process of driving? A, this is how I got started. I was doing driving to people's houses. Come here. You, you, you're, um, you've been in the fitness game for long enough to remember this. Do you remember that, that total gym thing? Yeah. The, the Chuck Norris used yeah, to yeah, 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 yeah. I used to have one of them and I used to go to people's houses and have to fucking get that out of the car yeah. and train them all the time. Then I had a car accident and I didn't work for three months. I realised, actually, I don't... There was no business there because I didn't get paid. Okay. Yeah. I didn't get paid for three months yeah. and then I started the groups and the group was like... Yeah, it's clear. Hey, apart from we don't have celebrities in South Shields. Well, we didn't then. <laughs> no, we didn't but, then. But word of mouth is powerful as well. <laughs> yeah, especially really powerful. And those clubs are so much more enjoyable because you've got an atmosphere. Sometimes Energy's meant. One on one clients, depending on your client, it could be a right long hour, couldn't it? <laughs> yeah, Can't watch it. Yeah, yeah. Can't watch it. We'll yeah, finish We've all yet. been there. Yeah, dude, I love it. So we started this boot camp thing. I want to go straight to actually, I want to flip yeah. to lockdown. Yeah, okay. So when lockdown happened, because yeah. you, what I saw with you, mate, is what I love because you just fucking stepped up. Yeah, like, just went for it. Yeah, you did go for it. You went from doing what you were doing. Were you doing like lives every day? Yeah, I just, I just saw, <laughs> I saw an opportunity here. I was bored. I wasn't training clients. I was like, how am I going to keep myself active? Yeah. Uh, I had a chat with my managers. They're like, oh, Brady, we're probably not going to get a lot, any work in a minute. We're re- like, we are worried. So keep yourself busy. I said, cool, I can keep myself busy. No problem. I said, I'm going to start doing live workouts. Yeah. And I think I was actually the first one doing it. And, and I can happily say I was... Well, Alima it. told me that you were the first person on Instagram that did shirtless workouts. I, that was another... Yeah. Is that another... Yeah, let's, yeah, let's, yeah. Talk, let's, let's rewind again. Yeah, rewind. What happened there? So I... It's quite funny. I was never that guy when I was a footballer. I, t- I never had a six pack as a footballer. I never did that. But again, I realised if you want to get a fuse, you have to get yourself out of there. 
and I just took my top off. Yeah. And the engagement I got from it was ridiculous. So I carried on. Like, even though I got so much stick. Yeah. So much stick. I did it. So much stick. Who off mainly? Just other PTs. Men. Yeah, other men. Yeah. And whatnot. And yeah. Fat men probably. And, and, the, and the Karens of the world. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, you don't know what they're like. You got, how did you deal with that stick then? Were you just... I just took it on board. I was like, yeah, cheers, mate. All the best. No yeah. worries. I'll, I'll carry on. Yeah. It's not going to affect me. Dude, I suppose. And I've been quite, I've been quite good with that. Yeah. Stick throughout my... Well, I've noticed that because... Not like Alima, who's fucking. He was saying he's been to people's houses. And that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when I criticised him, like you never get involved with that. No, like I, ever. I did at first, and yeah. I realised this is just wasting my energy, and this is just fueling them. This is what they want. Yeah. Like I had one guy make a YouTube video about me. He, he, he was that jealous and that spiteful that I was only twenty and training all these Premier League footballers. He actually made a YouTube video of me, and he would basically watched me and my work and my YouTube videos at the time mm -hmm. and he just he just recorded everything I did bad and he put it into one video and he just absolutely tried to batter me wow yeah so I was like wow so after that I was like Joe what I'm not even going to fuel these type of people I'm mm -hmm. just going to focus on myself mm -hmm. and when I do get the men's health when I do get that they're just going to really hurt yeah. so just carry on focus on myself Yeah. my success will hurt them even more yeah. than me giving them fuel yeah. that's the way I see so it. it's now just you, you are like well I'm doing it right if yeah, if exactly. I'm getting criticised. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Mac, how could you possibly get me a pen? Because Brad is dropping bombs that I don't want to forget to come back to. Okay, then, yeah, you know, yeah. Rather than saying, "Come and come back to that," yeah, yeah, if yeah, I yeah. get a pen, if I get a pen. But with right? the whole top situation right. with Paul, obviously Paul's a big lad. Yeah. Uh, and I, he's a great character. So I straight away said, "Paul can smash it with this Instagram hype." Yeah. Do you know what I mean? He can actually smash it. Yeah. But he. He didn't have the balls to get his top off. I said, Paul, you got to do this, mate. I'm telling you. Paul I just, didn't have the balls to get his top off. He did at the time. He didn't. Jeez. He was like, nah, really? Nah. I said, Paul, trust me. Yeah. Uh, and I said, look, I do PDFs at the time, and I was making ridiculous money with my PDFs. Yeah. Nice, quick and simple. Yeah. This is a program. Buy it. Download it. Yeah. Crack on with the gym. Yeah. I said, Paul, we need to do a PDF. Yeah. Because at the time, I wasn't... I didn't have that much, that much knowledge when it came to strength training. Yeah. So that's why... I Brought Paul on board, and I've always yeah. done that. If I'm not an expert yeah. at something, I bring someone else yes. on board. Yeah. Um. And Paul was, and Paul taught me a lot in the gym. Yeah. Uh, and we did a PDF, and yeah. we made a silly amount of money. Yeah. And that's when he, I think, he realised this is it. Yeah. This is what I need to do. Yeah. Uh, and he smashed it. And then he dropped the pigeon thing. Yeah. Tell yeah, me yeah, about yeah. the pigeon wars or something. The what? The pigeon wars. The where pigeon he threw the water wars. bombs at the pigeons on his car. Oh, do you not know about this? No. Oh, dude, you'll have to. You had to check the podcast out. Okay, I need yesterday. to. This, this, so maybe he was saying he was saying that he did he was doing the topless thing after yeah. you did it. Yeah. And then he dropped the video that was about pigeons shitting on his car. Yeah. And then he threw water bombs at them. Yeah. And that video blew up. Oh, okay. And that's when he realized, he realized that he realized, didn't have yeah. to do the. Then the he did. Yeah, thing. he didn't realize he didn't have to do the fitness yeah. thing. Yeah. 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 And he, that's mad. He's my favorite person to watch on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> he's brilliant. <laughs> he is. So let's go back to that lockdown thing then, because I kind of we kind of skipped past that. Yeah. Yeah. Was there ever a point where you regretted saying, I'm going to do a workout daily? Yeah. Because well, you must have got... Well, once you write your first schedule, that's it. you got to stick to it. Yeah. That's what people expect. Yeah. And I thought, oh, this is fine. Um, <laughs> and then, for what, three months, two months later, yeah. I was knackered. Were you doing daily? I was doing two a day. Oh, shit, really? I two was, a day? I was getting up, doing 8 a.m. hit workouts. Yeah. Uh, getting to four to 5,000 people doing it, which was class. That's insane. And then around five o'clock, I was doing a strength session. Fucking hell. Yeah. And which was great. I was still getting thousands of people. Yeah. And I thought, this is going to help my app in the future anyway. So I yes. always saw this as a, as a, so, to build it up. Yeah. Build a community. Yeah. Gained 100,000 followers within lockdown. Really? Class. Yeah. Which Jeez. was really good. And that was from, because I get sick of hearing people, well, I haven't got that many followers. But you've got to consider you're showing up twice a day, workouts yeah, twice a day. For fucking and algorithms months. at the time with live, three or four live workouts was great because people were seeing it people were getting recommended yeah it was great yeah uh but yeah i i hit a brick wall big time during that lockdown yeah yeah i remember just straight after that second workout just i had no social life my mates were doing like zoom calls having beers on zoom calls I was like nah, no chaps can't do it mate i was the same because i did so many i did daily zooms Four hours a day in lockdown. Wow. And then my mates were like, oh, we're having this quiz night on Zoom. Yeah, so I'm like, like last fuck minute, Zoom. Yeah, Even like, now I'm still fuck Zoom. Yeah, fuck Zoom. Let's, I'll true. travel to London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course yeah, yeah. I'll travel to yeah, London to a How much better is this? Mate, so much better, yeah, man. I mean, Zoom, Zoom yeah. it, it ends up being this like professional 
not much yeah. banter, no. like an interview. Yeah, it is. It's, it's awful. Uh, yeah. And like I was saying before, you're constantly asking, can you hear me? Can yeah. you hear me? Can you hear me okay? Oh, I can hear you now. Maybe yeah. if I change my Wi-Fi. Oh, just oh, put yeah, my yeah, headphones. Yeah, I know, oh. exactly. It's annoying, isn't it? Pain in the fucking yeah, butt. So it's... being in person, man. It, oh, it's key. It, it's That's so what humans are all about. That's what social... It is, man. It is, yeah. man. Did you struggle at all during that lockdown then with not having much social contact? Yeah, I did, of course. There were times where I really struggled with my mental you and your dog. Yeah, it's me and my dog. Yeah. Re- uh, yeah. And me and my girlfriend, like every relationship, we were struggling as well. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because what is there to talk about? What is there to be excited about? Work out what's today? Yeah, what's <laughs> exactly. So you had me and my girlfriend at the time, was, we were struggling. Yeah. Uh, so that was tough. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I, I had my mental battles, of course. Yeah. But people didn't see that. They just saw me, hey guys, ready for another workout. They see that exciting side. Yeah. Um, but they, they should know that, of course. I've and we, we mentioned this before about being professional. Is that sometimes hard to, is that sometimes hard to keep up? Yeah, of course. I don't think I've ever heard you say fuck on Instagram. No, no, the you know what? I used to, and that's where my management, because I guess when I have contracts with yes. Under Armour, my protein, and do bits of like Hugo Boss and stuff. This might be why I don't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, you got to kind of, it's a tough one because I'd love to, you know what I mean? Like people like James, for example. Yes. But I guess because I'm working with these type of brands and that's where my career is going, yes. I've kind of got to look after that. Yeah. And, yeah, and my yeah. mum tells me straight away. She watched, She's the first one to watch my stories. <laughs> Brad, I think you should take that down. You swore too much. Or, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez, I love that. The only word I'm not, I'm not drop the C word when my mum's watching. Yeah. Well, me, I have this worry all the time. I'm like, sometimes I do a video and I'm almost like, I'm talking. I remember I did a, 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 a podcast with my friend Chris and he's telling me things that I didn't even know I'd done. This is a guy I've known since 2010. Yeah. So he's talking about things on that I've done on nights out that I can't even remember. Mm-hmm. Don't he said, "Remember that time you fucking did that line?" Yeah, 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 yeah. Remember that time you we smoked them fucking, we had yeah, them brownies yeah. and you said this, and I was like, I can't remember that. And my mum heard it. <gasps> what like, what we heard the podcast? My mum heard the podcast. Yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah. even know she listened to my. But she's got a crush on Darren, which is oh class. How embarrassing is that? Good looking boy, Oh, uh, my mum's like, oh, Paul, that Darren's a bit of all right. <laughs> Mom, you're sixty fucking seven. <laughs> Really, it's embarrassing. <laughs> uh, yeah, that Darren's, oh, that Darren's lovely. I'm like, Mom, stop it. So anyway, yeah. So my mum sometimes see that. Yeah. It worries me a little bit. But what were you, during that time then, like, because a lot of people won't talk about this, especially if you haven't been sharing it. Yeah. What were some of your things to stay on top of that whole mental health thing? Uh, I guess for me, it was trying to switch off. So those dog walks were crucial. Yes. And not just in the same park because that drove yeah. me mad. I was yes. driving I was driving half an hour to go even though we weren't allowed. I was like, fuck that, I need to do that. Yeah. Uh, for my own mental self, yeah. I was going to nice different parks. I was going to Virginia Water. I was going to the Black Park, sometimes Hyde Park, switching up. Yeah. Um, uh, and just trying to sleep. I needed to sleep, man. Yeah. I needed to recover and again, good nutrition. Yeah. Mate, this is a question that I, that I haven't asked anybody yet. What's your, because um, obviously sleep's critical for what are some of your advice around I sleep like shit. Most people that listen to this yeah. podcast, watch this podcast, sleep like shit. What are you... Because obviously you're working with high-profile people as well. Yeah, are, of course. I mean, in football, as I remember, back in the day when I was a PT, I worked with a guy called Kenwin Jones. Yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah. great. I worked player. with a guy called Andy Reid. Yeah. I'm Andy Reid. Yeah, 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 yeah. And these guys used to tell me that sometimes they wouldn't get to sleep after a night game. They're like four yeah. and shit. Well, that's why people say don't train at night because your endorphins, your energy is running around your that's body. That's one of the reasons I hate training jujitsu jiu-jitsu late because yeah. you're fucking having a fight yeah, yeah, for an yeah, hour yeah, and then yeah, I can't sleep. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So I always try to say work out in the morning and really try and beat yourself. Yeah. And that gives you a bit of energy and the dolphins yes. go through the day. Yeah. And when it comes to six, seven, you can wind down and just chill. Yeah. Um, like I can easily say, like, just come off your phone at night, blah blah. We all we all say, dude, it's so yeah. hard. It's so hard. I'm so bad. I do try when, and switch off. when I'm away here, like if I'm on my own. Yeah. When I'm at home, my wife's like, put your fucking phone down. Yeah. My kids are like, put your phone down, dad. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Get your f- dude. I even have this thing. It's called a kitchen safe, right? Have you seen it before? No. So it's like this plastic box. You put something inside it, and you can lock it in. Okay. And it's timed. It's timed. So there's no code. So I put my phone in that and I lock right. it. So you can put food in it. That's yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That you're like, I want that food later, but, but if not I, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can lock it in for five hours, six hours, and yeah. you can't open it at all. Oof. So I put my phone in that, but when I'm away here, I'm fucking yeah. Scroll, scroll, true. scroll. It's mad. Well, it's our job, isn't it? It's to stay in touch. With well, what me. are people saying about me normally? I'm like, what are people saying about me? Really? Yeah, yeah dude. Who's who's like this? Who's okay. like that? Who wants a fucking Joe, fight? I used to be like, <laughs> who wants a fight? Um, <laughs> I used to be obsessed with that. When I was supposed to picture, I didn't. Constantly refreshing to see who's like it, how many people I'm getting. Oh, he's not doing very well. Should I delete it? That used to be me. Jeez. That's not me anymore. No yeah. chance. I post yeah. it. I used to be like, okay, this is a really good post. Okay, but I've got to wait till eight. PM 
right? So in that six hours, I'm like, when is it 8 p.m.? Yeah, I'm just. Oh, so you're holding, are you holding back the job? Holding time because obviously back in the day, algorithms like, good time, make sure you yes. post at a good time. Yeah. Now it doesn't really matter. Yeah. I don't think it does anyway. Think about it. But now. I don't care anymore. Mate, it's almost Instagrams are 24 7. Yeah, but I don't care anymore because it's for my mental health. I need to do good content. Great. I'm posting up there. Yeah. And I put my phone down. They yeah. Later on, I might check it. Oh, it's done all right. Oh, it hasn't done all right. Yeah. Algorithms are crazy. Yeah. Someone on TikTok or like Instagram Reels, for example, might get 10 million views, but the next video will only get 30,000. So just, just post it and just don't worry about it. Yeah, mate, I've found that as well. I'll do a video that I think bangs. Yeah. I'm like, that video is fucking amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It'll get hardly any views. Yeah, <laughs> but then something that you've done. Oh, dude, I'll drop something that I think shit. Mm. And then people love it. It's mad. Well, this has happened with me. So I still have a videographer. And when I do some sick videos, which I was quite known for, yeah. I used to always do really good sick videos top yeah. off in the park. Yeah. And like, and that's where. Music like, on and that. Yeah, and that's yeah. where like, likes of Under Arm and Adidas were like, we're like, this guy, we need to get him on board. So I knew that was beneficial. But when I do that now, people see it as an ad. And they're like, I oh, can't be bothered, mate. Uh, yes. not getting many likes. Yeah. Even though I was like, mate, that cost me a lot of money. Yeah. And that put a lot of time into that. Now I just go in my garden, iPhone on, film myself, do 10 exercises. Mate, takes me five minutes cool. to edit. That me, is such a great takes me, takes me five minutes to edit. Yeah. Boom. Engagement goes off the roof. Yeah, in that match. So what you're saying, the ones that are a little bit more raw. Yeah. Do better than the Because kind of it's relatable. Ones. Dude, that's cool. I think it's just because it's relatable. Yeah. People yeah. go, yeah, I can do that. Yeah. So talking about Instagram and social media, and you mentioned it. I wasn't going to bring this up. Yeah. What do you think are the challenges with social media? Because you're working with people that have big fucking fun. Yeah, yeah. And are getting a lot of shit, like... I guess, like... Where are you at with this? Like, I'm I'm having a battle with myself right now because I know you can't see with Instagram because the algorithm things. You have to change and you have to adapt. And for me, it's those Paul Lima videos that are doing really well. And I'm like, but I am not that character. Yeah. <laughs> so if I start trying to be that funny character. Oh, bro, I've got a blonde wig and a bikini. Yeah, and or <laughs> start creating really cheesy content. Yes. I feel like that's just going to kill my pride. Yes. But it could get me a hundred more thousand followers yeah. and more money in the bank. Yes. But I'm like, but I just won't enjoy that. And yeah, I, yeah. I'm having a battle with that right now. Yeah. Um. So I'm like, Joe, I need to stick to So I've just said to my, look, stick to what I'm doing. Workout videos, nutrition advice, yeah. be a service. Yeah. Which won't get me as many followers as being a clown. <laughs> 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 but Paul, carry on doing it. Because yeah. we love it. Yeah. I love that, mate. And, and um, But where are you at with, like, I think that, again, I'm so interested in your take on this because you mentioned it about yeah. looking at how many followers you've got and looking yeah. at how many people have liked it. Like, that's a challenge for a lot of people. Yeah, it is a you know what I mean, especially with some of the people that you're working for, because they get, or, or you're working with, sorry, yeah. I mean, they're getting a lot of shit and a lot of criticism and a lot of fucking media talking shit about them and that. That's a yeah. Well, yeah, you are, working with you is probably helping them out a ton, though. Yeah, I found, like, with my celebrity clients, um, when they realised I wasn't in it to be in the Daily Mail, I wasn't in it to do that, then they trust me even more, so they can kind yeah, of relax. I see that you're not. Like, it will be easy for you to go there and start sharing stories oh, look, and training them. And yeah, and look, I've been, I just got asked to go on Too Hot to Handle on Netflix. Yeah, and I turned it down because that's not me. Like, I don't need to do that. Is that like some kind of dating thing? Yeah, it's like the new thing that, like, one one guy, English lad, went on there just just last year. Mm. And he went from, well, I don't know, 20,000 followers to a million followers now. Jeez. Yeah. But you see he's now uh, following declining. Yeah. And what does that do to your mental health? What does yeah, that do yeah, yeah, to yeah. brands? Do brands want to work? Like, what does that do? So yeah. I know I could go in there, get millions of followers, yeah. but I'm going to keep to what I'm doing, the app, uh, and just focus on building that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there's always, it's always about what to do, what to do. Yeah. Yeah. And I, and I, and I do think that this, this, uh, this, and Instagram are taking like, aren't they taking like likes off or something? Or the heart off? Yeah, I don't know what they're doing. I heard that they're doing that. I yeah. heard that they're doing that. And actually, I only found out last week. So Luke, my manager, he he said um, he needed to, he wants to do this tour thing with me now as well. So he said, I need to know where your followers are from, what the engagement's like, what their sex is, how old they are now. Yeah. And I saw for the first time ever the unfollow. How many people have unfollowed, do you think? I'm like, Jesus oh, Christ. Right. See, that's not, not something to look good at. Dude, I'm glad I don't check that yeah. very often. I was like, fucking hell. Yeah, of course. It's mad, isn't it? But look, like I, I've lost loads of followers. Like I, I, I'm at the stage now where I'm gaining followers and I also lose followers. So yeah. those, those 100,000 people that follow me during those live workouts, yeah. 
they might then go, well, you're not doing live workouts anymore, so why am I following you? Mm. So just don't take it to heart. So you're not taking it too personally? No, I don't take it yeah, too I think personally. they'll get rid of that no. soon. Do you reckon? Yeah. yeah. Facebook have already got rid of it. Really? So when you go into Facebook, I've got uh, I've got double the amount of followers on Facebook than yeah, I have yeah, on, yeah. on Instagram. And I go in and I'm like, I wanted to know how many people have unfollowed me. Yeah. Like, you can't find it anymore. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's Facebook's a bit of a set. Well, that's the thing though. Like if, especially if they don't tell you why they've unfollowed you. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Well, they could be going through their own shit. Like, for example, like with my su- subscribers now, like I've had a few people because the gyms are back open, yes. classes about to come back on, and a few people yeah. have said, messaged me and said, Brad, you've been my saviour for the last year. I've loved your workouts. Yeah. But now, I work from home. I don't want to work out from home anymore. So, I, I'm sorry, but I have to go to the gym for my own mental health. Yeah. yeah. And I said, do you know what? Good, I'm glad you've told me why you are unsubscribing. Yes. Because if you didn't, then I'm going to go, is it because... What did I say? Well, not what I say, is, is, is the programs rubbish, are the workouts yes. rubbish, and they're not. Yeah. But that's what I mean. Yeah, I get it. Are you yeah. back in the gym now then? Um, well, to be fair, the weather's nice, so I've got all the equipment in the garden, so I'm smashing it out. Um, but the steam rooms aren't open yet, so that is was... Is that your thing? Is that, that your thing? thing? Is it? That was my thing. I used to love a workout and spend a good 20 to 30 minutes in the, in the steam sauna area, yeah. and yeah. that was my meditation. Yeah. I switched off, phone was in the locker, I, and Dude, I felt... got to get that I one. felt all that toxins release, and yeah. I felt good, and I got in a nice cold shower after, yeah. moisturised, I left that gym feeling... I'm a so they're man. not open still? Not open, obviously, because of COVID. I'm that's surprised, just, that's to be fair, like... Dude, you've so, got to get the one-man sauna in your house. I've got one. Yeah, Me. that's something I'm going to do definitely in my next property. I'll tell you what we could do. What you could do is but easily post on your Instagram, ask who knows anyone that makes yeah, saunas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could easily get one. Well, I want a sauna. You could easily get one. I'm gifted. thinking about getting a sauna at the back of my garden for sure. Uh, Wix has got one, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Joe Wicks, yeah, he's got yeah. a great little setup there. Yeah, it's a, um, he's got a big old So Mine's yeah. just, honestly, mine is like the size of from here to here. Yeah. Infrared. Oh yeah, Clark. Yeah, yeah. I've seen that little box. Isn't it's it? really cool. Yeah. So my so my pla- my my p- p- pl- flat in uh, West London, um, well, it's bloody expensive, but it's not as dude, big London's as London. London's a mad yeah, place no. for mo- for yeah. dude, the price of property. No, of yeah. course. But I've just invested in uh, property in the Cotswolds. Oh really? Yeah, I'm gonna start a little Airbnb business. Oh nice. As a little fun project. Yeah. So I thought nice. to myself, do I carry on saving and get my dream house now? I said, no, I'm 27. So that's further that's further up north, right? Well, Where? yeah. Well, yeah, I guess yeah. so. But Cotswolds is lovely if you've ever been. Yeah. And then Peak District as well, which is class. Dude, the Peak District, where they're the end of next month, I've got 80 guys yeah. yomping up the side of a mountain with XSAS guys. They're so, class. Yeah. And yeah. then obviously you've got the Lake District, which I'm going to go to soon. Really well. close. Yeah. yeah, really close. Cool. So where's my other questions here? Is your, for some reason I've got this word in here, competitive. Yeah. Was your environment as a kid competitive as fuck? Because I was obviously yeah. I was doing my research and I was like, wow, your brother's successful. Yeah. Your sister's kicking ass right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's good competitive. It's not jealousy. It's not bitter. It's not I want to do better yes. than you. It's you're smashing it. That's going to motivate and inspire me to also smash it. Mm. So is there much of an age gap between? You the, got two brothers or one? Brother? I got two brothers two and brothers. one sister. I'm yeah. the youngest. Yeah. And then it's Connie. We're all two years apart. Yeah. So my brother James is six years older than me. Yeah. Um, but my success is their success. Yeah. And none of us are jealous. None of us like we all yeah. buzz of each other when we succeed. Yeah, so I love that. There's no because some people go to me. Oh, it's, it, you're so lucky to have close like bond with your family. I'm like, surely that's what family is all about, no? Yeah. But I don't really like so many people don't get along with their siblings. It's yeah. mad. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. I'm very fortunate that we do. Yeah. Um, mum and well, mum was one of eight Irish background. Yeah. That Catholic. Yeah. And it's all that about tightness. Yeah, all that tightness. Yeah. Support each other. Yeah. Vibes. I love it. <laughs> um. What else have we got? As a young man right now, how old are you? 27. 27. So as a fairly young man right now, and I ask everybody this, what's your biggest challenge? My biggest challenge? What, mentally or just... All of it. I guess it's... It's a hard question. It's a tough one. Yeah, it's a tough question. It's been about, and I posted about it on my Instagram recently, it's like... Not chasing to be a billionaire yeah. and realising that being successful is not just money. Yeah. It's also enjoying what you do. Yeah. Uh, so I've realised that, I, yes, I worked my nuts off the last six years, but there's now time where I need to switch off and actually enjoy my success. Yeah. 
you know what I mean? Before yeah. you get to 30, you go, oh my God, what have I just wasted? Yeah. So um, that's a big challenge. And not to be a billionaire, but to be a millionaire, I'm happy with that. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? I love, mate, I love and it. You have to be realistic. Yeah, you do have to be realistic. Yeah, exactly. I love, and once you've hit that million, you never know. Yeah, exactly. Once you yeah. hit that million, then you can go from there. You can invest. If you invest what, wisely, then that million turns into two, three, four. Well, mate, I can, I can totally back up the happiness and success thing. I made my first million in 2014. Class. But I was a fat, miserable out yeah, of yeah, shape, yeah, yeah, yeah. depressed motherfucker, so I can totally get yeah, that. Yeah. And what I love about what you're doing is you've got no problem admitting that that's what you want to do. This is Lots of people cover it up. They're like, this oh, is, I'm, it's not about money. I'm like, like, don't get me wrong. Why I are you lo- charging people then? Yeah, I love what I do and I love helping people yeah. and it's a bonus. I get to earn money from it as well. And, and if it wasn't for the money, would I be as, motiv- would I be as ambitious? Would I be as like fired up to do it every single day? Probably not. Yeah. So, yes, it's win-win. You've got to consider, mate, you're in this industry, yeah. you're in this game, you're running this business where yeah. your income yeah. is directly correlated yeah. to how many people you're actually yeah. helping. Yeah, of course. And look, everyone that's smashing on Instagram or YouTube, we're all go-getters. Yeah. There's a reason why we get up and do the content we do. Yeah. If we sat down on the sofa, did nothing, or worked nine to five, which there's nothing wrong with that, mm-hmm. and there are people in the world that are happy that I've yeah. got friends who are happy to settle yeah. on 40, 50 grand a year and they're yeah. happy with that yeah. I am not and that's just me as a person mm-hmm. uh, and there's nothing wrong with that you shouldn't hide it mm-hmm. nah nah <laughs> and I mean? you see it all the time people oh money's not all this and I'm like well, why are you yeah, yeah. Like just, I love that you're being honest about it but I also love that you're trying to get there yeah not doing shit that you hate. No, of course. And I'm not doing it because I'm an materialistic. Like, you don't, I've got no watch on right now. Like, I'm just, I'm wearing a Zara track. So I'm not wearing Gucci. I can afford that stuff. But yeah. I don't. That's not what I want. Yeah. What I want is uh, an enjoyable, comfortable life. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you don't have to work if you don't want to. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I love it. Dude, let's talk about this Aaron Ramsey thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Body double. Are you too old to do that now? I was just thinking of no, what probably, you said. I'm probably, not, I'm probably not too old to do it, to yeah. be fair, but that was a great little spell. So that's when things didn't work out at football. Yeah. Uh, did my PT qualification, but I still needed uh, money. Yes. And Andy Ansa got me on board, legend Dude, Andy Ansa. we had this conversation. With the, as soon as he said it, I was like, is that the guy that was on Dream? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Remember that show? Yeah, 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 yeah exactly, yeah. yeah. Andy Ansa. Of, Andy of Ansa, that. Sports yeah. on Screen, yeah. got me on board. I did an audition. Yeah. Um, and he, yeah, they signed me straight away. Yeah. And I was body doubling. Aaron Ramsey... Uh, Jordan Henderson. Oh, you did Jordan yeah. Henderson as well? David Beckham, a bit of David Beckham. No way, yeah. man. And uh, I did a bit of Cesc Fabregas for Puma once. Yeah. Um, and great, great experience. Got to meet so many footballers. Yeah. Um, I was on set, I was on shoot, which was my, which, which is giving me the confidence and experience. So then when I do men's health with GQ on that, it's like, it's all good. It's yeah. fine. I know what I'm doing. What was that men's health thing like for you? Men's health was class. That's That was a dream. Like When I started PT... I was like, okay, hey, what's the dream? What can I, like, I said, men's health would be a joke. Men's health front cover, like, that's the goal. Yeah. Um, and I remember, I was like, I was saying to myself, can I work with you? That'd be great. I've got these followers. They said, yeah. mm, your audience is a lot female. At the time, I had like 90% female following yeah. me. Yeah. So, okay, cool. I need to that's the still top train off. the... That's for that top off game. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I still need to train the girls, but yeah. I need to now showcase what I do to get my body. Yes. And then my following with men start coming in. And now yeah. it's like 60, 40. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. So 60, 40 now. Yeah. Used to be 90, 10. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's good. Do you know what? When... When girls come up to me, say, I do your workouts. I'm like, oh, brilliant, that's great. Yeah. But when a guy comes up to me, I'm like, that's sick for me. I'm like, yeah, cool. Because you know what guys are do, like, you've had to do a lot of work to turn that. Yeah, and you know what guys are like, they they feel like they know what they're doing. Mm-hmm. They just go in the gym, they smash the they play five girls. sided yeah, school. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Where if a guy does your workout and he's buzzing off it and he gets the results from it, you go, yeah, do you know what? That's that's sick. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna remember. I'm sure. I was on holiday somewhere and I was in the airport. Mm. And you were on the front cover of Men's Health. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I'm sick of that. My daughter, my daughter, I'll go, she's seven. She's always on my Instagram, right? She's like, she said to me, Dad, do you know him? She pointed at that cover. Yeah, yeah, she said, do you know him? I was like, well, I kind of do. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm looking around. This is what I hate. She's like, Dad, there's James. There's, o- there's Ollie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. Tyson. Yeah, there's yeah. fucking Chris Ramsey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're almost like, when are you going to get on the show? Ah, oh, mate, you'll get there. I've got, that's you'll what I'm going there. for this year. I'm like, I can't wait for my kids to say, that's my fucking dad. On what magazine? Forbes or what? No, a book. I don't want a, a book. book a book, like a book. top 10, non-fiction. Yeah, Brilliant. Oh, somewhere you'll up there. You'll get it, mate. You'll get we'll it. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe I need to start yeah, getting it. I did a book. I was like, all right, I've got a book. Yeah. yeah. Well, mate, I saw that yesterday. Yeah. I didn't know you had one. Yeah, I had one. Yeah, that was ages ago. Was it? Um, And my sister helped me with that, to be fair. Yeah. That was with Harping Collins. Yeah. Um. Didn't do as well as I, I, I would have hoped. Still sold really well. Yeah. But um. Would you do another one? No. Would you not? No, because I don't think I think where the where the where the real 
concentration and is apps yeah. at the minute. Yeah. Apps is so. This is your. This is what's happening for you. This right is now. what's happening right now, which is going really well. Yeah. From the success of lockdown. Yeah. At so pl- you're building on that. Well, I actually created my first app, mm-hmm. which I spent a lot of money on. Yeah. I had to scrap it because I was wearing Adidas. I'm now with Under Armour. Oh shit! Really? Yeah. That's mad. You can't. You can edit a photo, but you can't edit videos. Oh wow! Yeah. So, so you had to build the whole thing out again. Do all the so video then, again. Yeah. So then I did it again just before lockdown, before COVID happened. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it was getting built. We spent a lot of money on it, and then lockdown happened, and then live workouts was the new thing. Mm-hmm. So I said to my team, "Well, there's no gyms opening, so they won't even be able to use that app." Yeah. So let's build a, a website because we can't afford to do another app right now. Yeah. Um, and then once we have the money, once we get the subscribers, then yeah. we can turn it into an app again. Yeah. So now we've gone. Let's. So I've wasted a lot of money, mate. Yeah. But lessons, you know. You've learned a lot of. I've learned a lot. Lessons. I've, I've, lo- <laughs> I've, lo- I've, lo- I've learned on a lot of expenses. We're lessons. on this app game right now, man. It's such a. It's, it's so. It's frustrating. Yeah. You don't realize how much work goes into those things. Well, that's what my subscribers don't. I get messages from my subscribers saying, "Hi, Brad. It'd be great if you could add this onto it. Could you add this?" <laughs> And then I ring up my guy who does the app and stuff. Like, mate, yeah. can you do that? He goes, yeah. If you want to spend another fifty grand, mate, we can really add, we can add that in, no problem. Well, we're trying to do a we're, on our app. We're trying to put in a live video feature. Yeah, that's do tough. you know? So you can just drop on. No, you drop on well, Facebook. You do a quick. Yeah, I'm I with you, that. I'm with Uscreen. So that that I can do that with Uscreen. That's who I'm with. That's who's develop, helping me develop my thing. Yeah. So live workouts and pre-recorded. Workouts. So you can drop that straight in your app. Yeah. Hold on a second. Yeah, you screen. Mate, I'm just gonna write that down. You screen. <laughs> okay, you screen. Yeah, yeah. So these guys are building the app for us, and and, and it's great. But then I drop a live video, and it just kind of disappears. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's a, uh, and that is extremely yeah frustrating. So what's yeah. the app going to look like? Like what's the? Or what yeah. It, so what the, is it so like? my phrase is get it done. Um, when I first wasn't sure what my book was going to be called, yeah. And at the time I did a weight loss journey with my sister. She goes, yeah. Brady, you always tell me just to get it done. Stop yeah. with the excuse and get it done. I said, yeah. Well, that's it. There you go, Connie. You've just said it. Yeah. So get it done is stuck with me now. Yeah. Um. So my brand is the Get It Done brand, and yeah. I think it's a good catchphrase. Uh, and it's GID now, and the logo is pretty sick. Oh, that's cool. Um. So yeah, and it's all up. So it's pre-recorded workouts with yeah. my. So I've got five trainers. We yeah. do. Um. So we've got yoga, Pilates. We've got strength. We've yeah. got quick twenty-minute blast workouts, yeah. and we've got boxing. So we've got yeah. two great boxing coaches yeah. who do shadow boxing, and then you have got me who I do strength and hit workouts, yeah. core workouts. Yeah. Um. Uh, and then when the app comes out, we'll be able to do programs. Because at the time, the website it was just live workouts pre-recorded. That's all we could do. Yes. But now with the app, we're going to do um, programs. Yeah. We're going to add nutrition. We're going to yeah. have meditation in there. Oh, sick. So it's going to be good. Sick. It's going to be There's a lot of competition out there. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, but, there is, yeah. But we've all got our own audience. Mm. And we all can win. Mm. Uh, and a lot of people say, are you trying to compete with them? I was like, no, I'd love to see other people mm-hmm. do really well. And it inspires me because I know that my app's got the potential to do really well yes yeah and and you know it's like i always say this to people because i've worked with a lot of pts over the years a yeah. lot thousands and then um, i might there's enough fat people to go around without, without one <laughs> well <laughs> just so you know I, you guys I, I, are I, listening yeah, it's just almost there's, there's, water. there's enough uneducated people with that <laughs> <laughs> what he means by that is enough stupid people yeah yeah <laughs> well it's true like the amount of people that just don't know the basics or just need, mate. I think some people... Some I think people now know how to get in shape, but you, they like to join your workouts because you energise them. Yeah, no, of course. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, they like, the, they like my workouts. My workouts are actually very quite advanced. You've created a community. Yeah. You've created, created a community. community. You've, community. You've yeah. created energy around people. Yeah, exactly. People are bought into that yeah. and they don't feel like... And I think this is important, is that they don't feel like they're doing it on their own. Yeah. Even though they are... The well, this is the thing. I've had, this, I've seen a little drop off, yeah. but I know people are gonna go back to the gym and they're gonna be just scratching their their head and picking their nose, going, ah, "I need Bradley again." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm waiting for those subscribers to come back. And yeah, so and I'm the new gonna... app's gonna have obviously gym workouts in as well. Yeah, so that you're able to go to the gym. Yeah. So we've got a TV app, which is so smart TV app. So a lot of people from home workout can go on the TV rather than doing it on their laptop or their. F- Hold on a sec. Yeah. So Bradley's just dropping bombs here. <laughs> um, so we can do smart TV. Smart TV app is very key because I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna do this. I'm not doing workouts or no shit. <laughs> <laughs> no one wants to see that yeah. shit and then um, obviously people can take my workouts so for example my strength workouts people can't afford dumbbells people can't get access to dumbbells because yes. you have to wait so long on Amazon these days or oh, wherever dude. wow yeah. so people can now go to the gym and do the strength workouts where maybe they're only being able to do the body weight stuff so you still got a personal trainer you're yeah. still training with me yeah. I'm still guiding you Yeah. Uh, so that's what I need. I'm trying to sell as well yeah do you know it's a it's a, it's a mad thing that thing that you mentioned about dumbbells because we had this problem as well yeah 
and it's also amazing. Like, you, part of me is like, I saw her, my wife, my wife's um, training with Sonny right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. She's getting strong. She's getting yeah, strong yeah. than me. It's embarrassing. Oh, so we've got the Olympic bar set up. We've got the rack yeah, yeah. set up. And I wanted to get her um, like a hex bar. Yeah, yeah. And it's taken like three months to come. Yeah, it's mad, isn't so it? part of me is like, that's a pain in the arse, but it's also amazing. Yeah. Like, you think about how many people are working out now. Oh, of course. And I think that is, we think about the positives of the whole lockdown and yeah. COVID thing. The amount of people now that are... Well, taking the health more seriously is actually amazing. Yeah, of course. And yeah. how many gyms are going to be affected by that as well? Because how many people have gone, Joe, well, I can actually work out from home. Yeah. Especially in London, like some of the best gyms, you have to travel an hour to get to. Mm. And so, so many people, well, that's why I think. And they all look shit now. There's fucking screens in between yeah, know, treadmills and that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I think also for some people, though, the great thing about gyms is some people will never want to do a home workout again. Yeah, oh, yeah. You know so I mean? Mean, you're going to get some people who are going to stick with. Like, I did a poll. So who's going to go back to the gym? Who's going to do home? And it was nearly. It was 55 45. Was it? 55 going to the gym. Yeah. 45 saying, Joe, you know what? I can smash my workout and I can get ready and then I can go to, to work. Yeah. Rather than getting yeah. up an extra hour early. So th- well, it's an mean. interesting thing. I think uh, one thing that I noticed that I was never going to take jujitsu or boxing for granted again because yeah. I can go and mm. do that. Mm. But also, we turned the garage into it. First started off as a jujitsu gym where we could spar all the time. Class. And then I told me Peck. Oh. So we got the um, we got the whole gym set up. And now I'm like, you know what's really cool? Just being able to go in the garage, just me underpants on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Smash yeah. It work. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I come home from work and I don't even get fucking changed. I've yeah. got a gear that I've had on from work, so I'm like, oh. Oh, you're sweaty. If I don't anyway, do it now, well. exa- yeah. if I don't do it now, I'm not fucking yeah, doing exactly. it. Yeah, exactly. It's smart. Yeah. Yeah, and, and it's a, um, and if you look back at lockdown, there were so many. I mean, for you, we all had our challenges, but I think looking back for a lot of people, everyone can find a positive about that thing. Oh, 100%. You know what I mean? 100%. Yes, we wouldn't like to go through that experience again, but 100% loads of people have learned how to improve their health. They learned a lot about themselves. Yeah. Learned that they've lived with somebody that yeah, no, they course. didn't like. <laughs> Yeah. they've learned that maybe they need to start taking their finances more seriously yeah, 100%. you know what I mean like I got to that point where in lockdown I, I learned a bit about what am I going to I want my money to start doing a bit of work for me yeah, 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 I want my money to start working yeah, yeah, as hard yeah, as yeah, I do yeah, yeah, 100%, you know what I mean 100%. It's, a, it's an interesting thing dude also one thing I want to ask you about here is what's this thing with Luke Campbell Oh, I saw you post no, this. Say with Luke Campbell. I, mate, I had so many messages. Are you fighting him? That's, fighting bit, him? that's, that's what it looked like. No, but no, then no, I saw no, it said no, something yeah, about yeah. being live on Instagram. No, no. And I'm like, no, he's not fighting no, Luke no. Campbell. So Luke messaged me. I actually worked with him with Sky Sports. Yeah. Like, I trained him for um, Fighting Fit, which was class. Yeah. Um, oh, mate, I did see you. On, yeah. I saw you on that as well. Yeah, Who that, else did you do that with? Uh, that was with Dan Lawrence. Dan Lawrence is a great trainer. Dan Lawrence. Yeah. No, I mean, which other Oh, Eddie Hearn. I trained Eddie Hearn on there. That was class. And other boxers. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so Luke Campbell just asked me to be part of his obviously uh, people that he's gonna fight. It looks like we're gonna he's gonna yeah, fight. It does look like you're but gonna it's fight just him. it's over Instagram live. We're just doing shadow boxing for three minutes. So you're gonna shadow box him over Instagram live? Yeah. Well he's gonna tell me what to do, I'm gonna follow him. Is he? So, so someone's gonna train me for once, will be nice. Well and it's all just to raise good awareness for Calm, which is a mental health charity. Yeah, Calm's an amazing mental health yeah. charity, yeah. So many people actually thought we were actually gonna fight. Dude, like, that's, like, have you got look- beef with Luke Campbell? So no. <laughs> no, thank you. No. <laughs> no, he might be smaller than me, but I'm sure he'll Dude, be able he's to a knock fucking me out. monster yeah, as well. He is, he is. Yeah, yeah. It's it's uh, that that calm charity. It's funny. I'm doing an event for them with Paul Merson. Oh, class. Which would be mad. Oh, wow, Paul Merson, Merson what a legend. Even he's though he's an Arsenal man. player, he's a legend. <laughs> Who's your? T- is your I'm Chelsea Spurs. your team? Oh, I'm Spurs. Spurs. Yeah, I'm Spurs. Everyone thinks I'm Chelsea because obviously the John yeah. Terry connection. But Spurs, I'm team. Spurs. What are you saying about that situation right now? <laughs> I'm glad Mourinho's gone. I'm not going to lie. What do you think about them getting rid of him the week before the cup final? Yeah, I didn't really get that because if someone's going to win a, a cup final, it's Mourinho, isn't it? Uh, but I reckon Levi pulled in a few players and said, what's going on? Mm. And they said, he, he, he's, he's, he's he's got to go. And I, you know I mean? we don't know what's behind the scenes. I, I was thinking the reason, if they kept them on... Money recently. And they won the trophy. Yeah. They would have to pay him out a lot of money. They'd have to fucking keep him as well. He's just run the matrol. I don't think they would have had to keep him, but they I reckon know. they would have to pay him the thirty million that he was in his contract. How much? Thirty mil that they would have to pay him out. What if he won the trophy? Even if he won the trophy, yeah, there might have been a clause in his contract. In hell, man. You know, you know what these contracts are like. Yeah. And he's clever. Mourinho's at ninety-two million from well, being sacked. sacked. Wow. So he's smart. He knows the deal. That's insane, he knows dude. The deal. And and it must not be that much fun being a Spurs fan. No, nah, it's not to be fair. That's a hard team to support, isn't it? It is a hard team to support, especially when you've got Chelsea and Arsenal. Well, Arsenal, to be fair, is a weak team now. Arsenal terrible. Uh, but when I, I, I'm from West London, so a lot of my mates are Chelsea. Yeah. 
And it is frustrating because we get so close, but then we just bottle it. Imagine being a Sunderland fan. Oh, are you Sunderland? See, I'm just that Netflix season ticket. That Netflix was bad, mate. Well, someone said if you watched it, I was like, it was bad enough seeing it the first time around live. It was bad for you, but it was great. It was a great watch for the neutral. Very good. To see how a club runs. And yeah, dude. I think yeah. Sunderland will bounce back. Lee Johnson, my my best mate's his uncle. Uh, my best mate's cousin is uh, your. Really? Papa. Well, we have mum. We look like we're going to go automatic. We'll but you're more. dropping a little bit, aren't you? We'll have one for six. Got beat again last night. Yeah. Yeah. Typical Sunderland. Sunderland. Well, mate, I remember 2019. I think it was 2019. I came to London twice in three months mm. to Wembley. First game, Portsmouth beat on penalties. Second game, Charlton beat in extra time. Wow. No, yeah, yeah. last kick of the ball, yeah, yeah. playoff final. Man. I've been to Wembley six times and lost every game. <sighs> And that might, like, don't go that is a lot, mate. That is a long train ride home. The first ever game I watched live was Chelsea versus Sunderland. Really? Uh, Phillips and Quinn up top. No way. Yeah. Well, I came and watch. I went to Stamford Bridge to watch Chelsea against Sunderland. It was when my first got promoted with those two when we got yeah. pumped 4 0. Uh, Gus Poirier was playing yeah, for Chelsea. Yeah, Gus Poirier. Yeah. Zola was playing yeah, for Chelsea. Yeah, that's probably the game I probably watched. <laughs> was it? Probably. We got humped. Mario yeah. Melchiot was playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Babiara, those days. Yeah, that was probably the same, yeah. Yeah, that was it. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's it. Uh, those were the days. Yeah. Those were the fucking days. Um, mate, that's all I've got. There we that's go. All I've got. What a fucking tremendous conversation. Man, I went quick. Where can the, mate, it's always the same, man. Yeah. Where can the guys find out more? about Bradley Simmons well like I mentioned before Instagram is my platform yeah. um, and then if you want to head to get it done to subscribe if you fancy some decent workouts you yeah. want to get yourself fit healthy yeah. then get it done is the platform Dude, you're doing YouTube do you know what potentially yeah look if, if I'm doing really well on my app I don't need to do YouTube yeah yeah. That's the way I see it. Yeah, we t- we, we've been talking about YouTube a lot recently because it's yeah. a whole new game. Like, you can't just get away with posting your Instagram yeah, videos on YouTube. To be fair, like, I, I might do it, but I might reserve my energy and go into things that are away from social media. Yeah. Like property and yeah. do... Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, the like, stuff that nobody... Yeah, like I was talking to like, like Andy Joshua, for example, yeah. and the stuff that he's got on the side is mad. Like, And that helps you switch off, you know? Yeah. It helps yeah. you switch off. Who you got... Uh, I know we'll close this out, but fuck yeah. it, I'm going to keep going. Who you got out of Joshua and Fury? Oh, it's such a tough one, isn't it? I like, yeah. I, I like both of them. Great, Both great characters. Yeah. Great for the sport. Yeah, It's one of those ones. I think AJ, if he lands a big punch, he can knock him out. Yeah, But Tyson, you've seen him in his fight. He's such a good boxer. and He's just going to just gonna annoy AJ. He's just going to annoy him for rounds after yeah. round. So yeah. if AJ doesn't get the knockout... And AJ's got a lot of muscle to carry around. Yeah. Chasing... Because you're yeah. going to follow Fury around the ring, yeah. aren't you? But do you know what? It's going to be an unreal fight. Yeah. Unreal I think it'll fight. happen. But i got to back AJ. Have you? I'm going to back AJ. Well, I'm back, I'm, I'm back on my Mike Tyson. Go. Unless AJ wants to come on a podcast. <laughs> and then we'll call it. Then we'll call it. <laughs> no, but I think, I think it's unreal what's going for boxing. And they're both going to make like 75 million. Mate, it's amazing. Mad money. Did you see Tyson yesterday talking shit about Eddie? No, I didn't. Oh, I, I dude, know he did it. this video on his story. Yeah. Cause he's in, he's away with Billy Joe Saunders. Yeah, right yeah, now. yeah, yeah, yeah. And Billy's fighting yeah. Canelo next week. Yeah, we'll my, that, my mate's uh, training Billy. Oh, really? Yeah, my mate Cam. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, it's class. That's cool. Um, so who you got in that fight, by the way? I think I've got Canelo. <sighs> Canelo's fucking. I would love for the underdog. I would love. Some, I would, I would well. love him to knock it yeah. out. Yeah. But I've seen Canelo live against Amir Khan uh, when he got knocked out. I was like, wow. Yeah. When I was when I was in Vegas, I was yeah. like, wow. I think Canelo will probably do it. Yeah. But if someone's gonna win, it is. Awkward yeah, again. Is, is, Awkward. Yeah. Frustrating fight. Gypsy, that. man. You just... Yeah. I've had a few fights with gypsies in, in my day. And they know how to fight. <laughs> different. It's a, it's a they tough, just know how to fight. It's just in their blood, all the time. They're a different breed. Different breed. They're a different breed. It's mad. Yeah. You punch them hard, they come back. Yeah. 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 So Billy... Billy... Tyson's over there with Billy right now. And he came out yesterday. And he's, he came on. He said, Eddie Hearn, you're a fucking wank puffin. Started battering Eddie, and you're saying that Eddie's supposed to be Billy's promoter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And on the website, and that Eddie's just talking about Canelo, this Canelo, yeah, that, yeah, and that. Yeah. It's mad. But you never know whether they're doing shit to sell fights. Yeah, you don't know, mate. Or Boxing. whether it's it is, just... it is. Like, look what's going on with like Jake Paul and stuff. It's just turning to <laughs> circus, isn't it? So it's all for money. You but... should call out Jake Paul. Do you know what? <laughs> I, this is why I, like, I wish I did YouTube because I would be calling these people <laughs> out. And, and knocking them out. Well, I would. Admit Aaron Chalmers from Jordan yeah. Shaw's been, he's seen he's been calling, I think he might have been called Logan Paul out. The thing is, everyone's calling these Paul's brothers out because they're going to make money. And they're the going to make money. And because they probably want to knock him out. And, but I hope, I hope Tommy Fury knocks him out. Yeah, if they do right. fight. And yeah. I think he would because obviously Tommy's a good boxer. I think Tommy will do that fight and then, 
You could, you could, couldn't you? You could do that fight and retire. Yeah, like but... if you did that fight, you're talking millions. No, no, of course, but he's from a he's, he's, family. He, look, his surname is Fury. He's got yeah. he's got a reputation. He's got he's got to try and fight the best people in the world. Yeah, and I think Tommy would do that. He's just... yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. If, yeah. yeah if he's, their dad is an absolute animal, isn't he? Yeah. Well, we got we got offered John for the podcast. Yeah. But I want. I'd love to get Tyson's wife on. Love to get yeah, Paris on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love to get me. What well, to see the other side of the my lifestyle. wife and Paris in the same room talking about what it's like to live with a fucking lunatic. That's that's a good. It would one. be a very interesting yeah, conversation because you don't really hear much of that. The nah. stories, what, nah. how they how they deal with it, yeah. how they cope with it. Yeah, and he's really open about it, which I love. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Interesting. Bradley Simmons, right, uh, thank you for talking Top shit man. today. Thank you, Legend. Sir. Thank you, mate. That was great. Yes, class. Thank you so much. Class. It rolled. Thank you.